Hey guys, let's talk about batteries. In 2021, these are still the best and cheapest way to get 18650 cells. If you're not familiar with these, these are modem battery packs. They are in every single modem in America. They're there just for backup. In case the power ever goes out, these batteries are supposed to power the modem for you to make uh, emergency calls, right? That's on the modems that you have the lines, the landlines coming in through a coax cable through your modem. So these batteries sit on top of your TV or next to your TV on your modem for a couple of years, but they rarely ever get used. And when the modem gets discarded because it goes uh, at a season or the new version comes out or whatever, then the whole modem gets sent to the recyclers and the recyclers, they take all of these and they put them in giant bins, sort of like this one's here. And that means that we can buy them and then we can uh, harvest the cells out of these guys that have sometimes zero cycles on them, right? So they're probably a couple years old, but they have zero cycles or near zero cycles they come in different versions this is a two cell version three cell another three cell and then four cells in here and they they all have different uh brands of cells and different models of cells right so today we're going to talk about this one right here which is one that is very popular that we have and we really really like it because it's got good cells inside let me show you uh how they break apart so I've shown in, in many videos before how to take these apart. You just whack them with this with the hammer and um, uh, a scraper, right? And they just come apart like this. I already did this this one with that one. And then this glue here makes it a little bit harder to take it off. But then once it loosens up, boom, you end up with two of these cells. These all of these green ones here usually, uh, as far as we can tell, all the ones that we've ever opened have the ICR 18650-26S. These are 2600 milliamp hours and they're Samsung cells, which means they are very good quality name brand cells, right? Uh, I have opened four, one, two, three, four. I've opened four of these and out of all of these eight cells, only one of them uh, is bad. I checked the voltage on all of these and these are all at three and a half volts, except for this one right here. And if you can see, let me show you here. You can see that that battery was some kind, was defective and something leaked. And there's a little bit, just a tiny bit of corrosion there, right? So visually I knew uh, that that one was gonna be bad, but the other seven, are good and they're good voltage. Now, what you can do is you can put these and charge them and cycle them and you can test them, right? I would suggest for you guys to do that. And then once you have seven good ones, what you can do is you can build battery uh, packs. You can go the traditional way, sort of like this one here and use these holders and then use nickel strips and then do the whole thing. Or what you can do is also use our system. Our system, we have this PCB system that makes it really easy for you to build batteries. All you do is you get one of these boards and then this is the positive, this is the negative, and then you just mark them in there and load them. And you load them just like you would be loading uh, a remote control uh, with batteries. They just snap in there into these holders. Bam, and just like that, you have a 7S battery. This is 24 volts, right? And so this uh, board can be used. You can stack more of them on top. And then this is alone. You, you could use this as is. This is one 24 volt battery, right? But if you wanted to double the capacity of this battery, you just add another board on top. And then you can add another board on top and another board on top. And they uh, parallel each other. And these have fuses and these have uh, BMSs. And it's a whole system you can build little packs anything from like little battery packs sort of like this one here see these are these ones on their side like that 
this is a small little battery pack all the way to giant systems so like this one here this is a 20 kilowatt hour diy powerwall that i'm currently building for this uh building here so there you go in 2021 modem packs are still the cheapest and the easiest way to get high quality batteries at a very low economical price right so as always uh links are in the description to where you can find a bunch of these ones uh i want to thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye